Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a figure in Desmos, like a square or a diamond, uh, something, a parallelogram of some kind. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to go up to here and go ahead and enter some kind of an equation. Now, I'm going to create a diamond for you. So I'm going to put in this particular line in slope intercept form. And you can see the slope is going to be 1, and the intercept is at 4, okay? And it's a positive slope, so there it is. Now I'm going to do, let me do this first, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do in terms of like how do you eliminate, or how do you create an actual figure, okay? Now I'm going to also create, in the second line, another equation, where I'm going to say y is equal to a negative 4, or excuse me, negative x plus 4. Try that one more time. There it is, negative x plus 4. And you can see that I'm starting to create a figure here. I'm going to go down here and here and just keep on going. Now I'm going to create another equation. y is equal to negative x minus 4. And finally, my fourth equation, y is equal to a negative x plus 4. Whoops, I already have that one in there. Negative x uh, minus 4, negative x plus 4, and then just x minus 4. There we go. And now we have a series of intersecting lines. Now, I want to just create the figure that will belong in here, right? So I need to get rid of all these extra lines on the outside. How do I do that? I do that by what I call limiting my domain. And let me show you how I do that. So let's just go up to this first equation. I want to have just this line segment show, and I want to eliminate here, and I want to eliminate here. So basically what I am telling my equation is that I want you to go between X where x is negative 4 and where x is 0. Okay, so let's go up to here. I'm going to use this kind of a brace and I'm going to say negative 4 needs to be less than x and that needs to be less than 0. And look what happens. I've now eliminated any x value that is less than negative 4 or any x value that is greater than than zero. Those are the only x's that will go in here. And this is called the domain. Okay, that's what I call limiting my domain. I'm going to do the same thing for each one of these uh, four equations. Now, let's go to where negative x plus 4, which is this line right here. I want to get rid of here, and I want to get rid of here. Okay, so let's go with my brace. And I'm going to say, now let's just look at my x's. I don't want any x greater than 0, right? So I'm going to say, uh, I do want x's greater than 0. I want it between 0 and positive 4. So I'm going to go up here and say, 0 needs to be less than x, and that needs to be less than 4. And again, see how the other two outsides of the domains have limited. Let's go to the next line. Go ahead and do my brace. And this is the green line. So here, again, I don't want any x greater than negative 4 or less than negative 4 or greater than 0. So I'm going to do exactly the same domain I have up here. So negative 4, less than x, less than 0. And enough. There you go. There's my limited domain. And let's finally just do this last one. Let's see if you can do it on your own. I want every x between negative 4, or excuse me, between where x is 0 and where x is 4. So I'm going to use this limited domain, right? So actually, I can just do this. Just copy it. Let's go down here. Let me get rid of those braces and then just go ahead and do that. And there you have a four-sided figure 
that is complete without any extra lines on the outside and there's your number. You basically just, depending on the type of figure you want, you're going to have to uh, come up with the equations for each one of those and then limit your domain. Okay, I hope that was helpful.